All right, so it's now 1.26 p.m. and we are just leaving for the rallies. Like the shit up. Finally, we got out of this dreaded freaking parking garage. This thing is hell. Let me tell you, this place is hell. If you ever like die and come to hell, this is the place you go because you never find your way out until right now. All right, so you're probably wondering what we're doing today. Um, there's actually 35 plus rallies going on at the uh, National Mall in DC. So pretty much we're going there to see if uh, Antifa and ICP decide to start things up. I'll tell you what, I don't know what it is with trains, cars, whatever, I always feel like shit if I'm not in the front seat or I can't see where I'm going. I don't know what that it is, but man, shit's starting to get rough, man. Boys, I think we found one. I think it actually may be ICP. Because so. is there anybody else? Yeah, the Spanish protest. Oh, there's a Spanish. Okay, that well. There's a Spanish protest. Uh, oh, for Zach. Yo, yo, they're dancing and shit. Okay, that's kind of lit, actually. So, so far, the protests are a success. Um, we just got done with the Spanish rally protest parade thing. We're actually on our way to the National Mall now to go to the uh, Juggalo ICP um, rally. So that should be pretty interesting. I've never actually seen ICP live. So it should be somewhat interesting to see how it turns out. So Black Lives Matter, oh, and again, they do. And why do we never see that organization protesting in the ghettos of inner cities Black-on-black crime is running rampant. Why? Do you even care about your own lives? Do you have the guts to go to those ghettos and do what you do in our streets to good law-abiding American citizens who aren't racist? Are cops perfect? No. And the corrupt cops, they should be brought to justice like any other criminal element in this country. So you know you're getting closer to your target when you start hearing people bump ICP and just riding a bike just down to the monument. And then you see like a bunch of like, I guess juggalo kids? I don't, I don't White I don't. trash? Essentially, yes. We take to the streets and demonstrate for our God-given constitutional rights. Whoop whoop! Washington DC Juggalo March 2017! I hope everybody's got their walking shoes on today because we want to march in this motherfucker, man. If it's too nasty up in there, you should be up in one of, one of these governmently landscape fine maple trees blowing yourself or playing the national anthem on your skin flute. Best thing I've seen all day. Can I get this down? One more like that. Word. You have to. You have to. Who now bombs? The coffee's right here. Um, well, we're just a local anarchist soup kitchen and we feed the homeless every week in Franklin Square. And we like to also feed anti war rallies and anti fascist activities. And I think the juggalos are our comrades. What you see in the streets with direct combating of fascism, that's just a single part of what anti fascists do. Almost all of them participate in various community activities. They organize for labor rights, they organize for immigrant rights. No, the only time it gets on the news is when, the window, when a window gets broken. So, yeah, that's a really good way to put it. Yeah, appreciate that. No problem.
First, let me clarify, I'm not a juggalo by any means, shape, or form. However, it's cool to see how they'll all band together for a cause. It's nice to see that people actually will take action about something for once instead of just bitch about it and do nothing about it later. It's, I guess, sort of refreshing, you could say. Maybe humanity might be changing for once. stupid shit. So you see this car, right? And you see that over there? That leads to the end of the parking garage. It literally took us two seconds to find a car this time where, remember last time we tried to get out and it took us like five hours? And now a long drive home. Shut up, car. You're gonna be a lot. Fuck it. Darling, you send me Darling, you.